Welcome to XAR Template Tutorials for the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to use the new online content catalog as well as how to add a counter widget to your website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is open up a blank new document. Let's go ahead and go to the insert menu at the top of our screen. When you click on that, you'll look for the option that says from content catalog. Let's go ahead and left click on that. And it'll bring up the from content catalog dialog menu. And within this menu, I'm going to give you an overview of how everything works. So let's go ahead and do that. At the top of your screen, you'll have the option to search for key terms and look for any content on the online content catalog. On the left hand side, you'll have a list of categories. And then in the middle of the window, you'll have a preview window where you'll see thumbnails of the different assets that you can use in your website. By default, we're under the all category. And when you're under the all category, you have to type something in the search box at the top of our screen. So let's go ahead and left click inside the search box. And let's go ahead and type a key term in and see if we can find some content in our online content catalog. In this case, I'm going to type the word photo, and then hit the enter key. And now you'll start to see content that's related to photos in our online content catalog. So the next thing I want to show you is that if we click in another category, how it's going to filter the results. So let's go ahead and click on components. If we click in components, let's see what happens. And you'll start to see that things that re are related to the components category will show photos related to that. But let's go ahead and click on symbol fonts. And again, you'll see that it shows content that's related to photos for symbol fonts. In this case, it shows icons that are related to photos. Let's go ahead and click on social media. And you'll see under the social media section, it will show content related to social media for the search term photo. So basically, whatever you have typed in that search term at the top will be reflected in each category unless you delete the search term. So let's go ahead and delete the search term photo. You can either highlight it and hit delete, or we can click on the X key. And once we get rid of that, let's go ahead and hit the Enter key. And now you'll see that we can see more information related to social media content. So in other words, you need to make sure that you clear out the search box. OK, so you need to make sure you clear out the search box if you want to see all the content for a given category. If you don't, you're going to filter the results based on what you typed in the search term at the top of your screen. So let's go ahead and go back to the all category. Once back in the all category, let's go ahead and go to the search box. Once you're back in the search box, let's go ahead and type the word counter and hit the enter key. And now you'll see that the option for the counter widget appears. So let's go ahead and put our cursor over that. And you'll see that it brings up a button that says import. So let's go ahead and left click on the import button. And you see that it brings up the counter widget dialog menu. Now within this menu, you'll be able to set up your options for your counter widget. On the left hand side, you'll see that it says counter styles. And you'll have a list of different options for that. In this case, I'm going to use the option from the category best visitor counter styles. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick a option from this list. In this case, I'm going to pick the first one by clicking inside the radio box. And you'll see that the screen changes. And the next thing that we need to do is set a few other options. In this case, the star counter, what do you want that number to start at? In this case, it's set to one by default. But if you wanted it to start at zero, you could change this to show all zeros instead. But I'm going to leave it to the default of one. Under the count section, you can pick either all hits or unique hits. All hits is going to pick up not just the hits from people visiting your website, but it's going to count when people revisit a particular page on your website. So for example, if they visit the home page five times, it's going to count that as five page visits. If they visit the products page five times, it's going to count that as five visits. Whereas unique hits is going to count page visits as one visit when one person visits, no matter how many pages they view on your website. So that is the main difference between all hits versus unique hits. The next section that we have to look at is where do you want to place the visit counter? In this case, I have to add a number to the end because this is not my first time using the visit counter under the online content catalog. And they won't allow you to enter your URL twice. So in order to use a different counter style, you have to add a different number based on their system requirements. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and type in the URL. And then I'll add a number to the end. And then I'm going to click on get my code. And in this case, you can see that it says you already entered this, R this URL in our database. So I have to add a different number because I already used the number one before to test out a different widget. This time, I'm going to enter in my URL with a different number. Let's try the number four. And then click on get my code. And you'll see that it brings up the next menu for us to continue adding our widget. In this case, you could either copy the code manually and insert it into your website, or you can just click on the insert key at the bottom of our screen. Let's go ahead and left click on that. And now you see that we have a preview of what this visit counter looks like in our workspace. Go ahead and hit the F5 key so we can preview this in our web browser. And then let's go ahead and go to uh, Chrome and view this in our web browser. And now you'll see that it shows the number two because this is our second time viewing this page. Let's go ahead and hit Control R to refresh this page. And you'll now see that it shows the number three because we refreshed that page. So hopefully you're getting the idea of how the all hits works. If you change that to unique hits, it would only show one visit rather than every page refresh or any revisit to a particular page. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to uh, use the new online content catalog and also adding a counter widget. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe and give thumbs up and stay tuned for future videos.